Hi, my name is Jason, and we are coming to you live from the first ever Mobile World Congress Americas here in downtown San Francisco. Thank you and welcome for joining us here at the Nokia booth where we're talking about 5G wireless technology. Now we all know and love our 4G networks that we have today. We use them to download our videos and we use it to stream videos and also uh, for social media posting. But now we're actually talking about the fifth generation of cellular wireless communications and all of the new types of things that that will bring us. So, when we think about 4G today, if you imagine the speed of the cars that we drive today on our highways and roads, think about the speed of race cars in racetracks. So that's kind of the order of magnitude and difference between kind of the speeds that we will see between 4G and 5G. So one of the things that we have here today at our booth is a live demonstration of our 5G technology. So here to my left, you can actually see there's a live 5G base station and this is actually connecting to our live 5G uh, device that you can see here on the top right hand side. So we're transmitting data across this network and behind me you can actually see this speed meter and we're actually transmitting information from the network down to the device, the test device that we have at around 800 to 900 megabits per second. So that's much, much faster than the 10, 20, 30 megabits per second that we see today. And also one of the other aspects about 5G is the lower delay. So the amount of time it takes to transmit the information from the network to your device and back again. So today what we're looking at in 5G is reducing that by about a factor of 10. And that's really important when we talk about things like augmented reality and virtual reality that will bring us new experiences. And other new technologies like autonomous cars, controlling drones, and controlling robots in the future, we have to lower that delay in the network. So imagine you're actually, uh, well, all of us have been to kind of sports events and concerts in stadiums. And we all like to use our mobile devices to record video and upload video and post all our favorite social media posts. There's a lot of capacity that's needed in the network to be able to do that for 10, 20, 30, or 60,000 people in a stadium. So one of the things that 5G will bring us is that capacity in the stadium to be able to do all of those things that we do today and have all those new experiences for tomorrow. This is actually one of the demonstrations that you can see here that we have showing about the amount of bandwidth that will be, ava be available in 5G for when we have 60,000 people in these large sports arenas that we will have in the future. Now, one of the interesting applications that we've been looking at is virtual reality. So let's have a look at that, what that actually looks like as one of the use cases that could be very, very popular for 5G. So one of the examples that we have over here is our Ozo 360 virtual reality camera. So this is one of the first uh, VR 360 immersive cameras to happen on the market. And in this demonstration here, if you think about the photo booths and the selfies that we do today, they're just single kind of one-shot time experiences. In the future, what we're talking about is fully immersive, 360 degree experiences and that's great because now we'll be able to feel that we're actually in a different location maybe than we're at we'll be able to share our entire experiences not just from a single point of view but from a, a completely 360 degree roundabout view now this actually generates a lot of traffic a lot of data so instead of just one or two megabits per second files we're talking about hundreds maybe of megabits per seconds of files and that's just one of the examples of why we will need 5g in the future okay so thank you very much for joining us here today at the Nokia booth. We're really excited about 5G. Don't, keep, don't forget, please keep following us on all your favorite social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in the future. Bye-bye.